Today's a very special day, man. Today is my son JoJo's fourth birthday, man. So I want to give a huge shout out to you, buddy. I love you so very much, man. I hope you have a blessed day, and I can't wait to spend the day with you. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Body of Toys video. Today, we're back with my WWE Elimination Chamber 2024 predictions. Now, we're going to be going through this entire show, man. I love the Elimination Chamber. Always a very fun matchup. One of my favorite stipulation matches ever. And we're on the road to WrestleMania, man. Things are heating up. Very intrigued with things going on. I'm not hyped for every single matchup on the card, but there's only four matchups matches, really. So, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll we'll dive into the lore and get into all the different things, of course, about it, man. But Elimination Chamber, who is going to go on to take on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the World Championship? How are things going to shape up with Cody's storyline? Lots of things to discuss, of course, man. But I'm also filming this on Thursday morning. So, there could be a matchup added. There could be a segment added. There could be different things that happen at this show that I don't cover in this video. And if that happens, you know, it happens. But this show's going to start at 4 a.m. on Saturday, for me personally. As soon as the show ends, I will be putting up my review. Do you guys can come back and we'll discuss everything of course but but anyways man let's shut the hell up dive into elimination chamber 2024 break down these matches and see what i think about this show so first man we do have the undisputed tag team championship match between the judgment day representatives in this matchup apparently are going to be finn balor and damian priest and they're taking on the brandly new named i do believe new catch republic Pete dunn and tyler Bate. this matchup is going to be insane this is actually outside of the men's matchup probably the matchup i'm most looking forward to these guys are going to tear the damn house down you know i don't foresee the Judgment Day losing their championships right here at Elimination Chamber being this close to Mania. You know, you kind of run into that trouble when you get close to WrestleMania and things like that. Things could become a bit predictable. You know, you have different things like that, but all four of these guys in this matchup can go. I expect kind of a classic NXT style tag team matchup right here between these two teams. You have a lot of NXT experience here. It should be nuts. I hope they go for all the bells and whistles, man. I hope they leave no stone unturned in this match. Hopefully we get some pretty fun stuff going on. You know, I'm kind of waiting on that fallout of the Judgment Day. I've been waiting and waiting on the fallout of the Judgment Day and it hasn't happened yet. Maybe that will take place maybe when Damian Priest cashes in or maybe, you know, we'll have a fallout there or what have you, but it's coming eventually. You know, I think it is going to come eventually. We're going to probably get some Finn Balor babyface run with Damian Priest as the heel possibly with Dominic or something. I don't know. I don't know what we're thinking here, but in this, in terms of this matchup, I'm going to go with the Judgment Day retaining. I do, again, expect a really fun match or maybe the Judgment Day drop the titles right here. Maybe this is where the fallout begins. You know what? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Judgment Day retaining for now. I would love to see Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne, two of my favorite guys, man. Those guys are so damn good. I've been fans of them for years. I'm going to go with Judgment Day retaining, but hopefully we get some epic matchup going into WrestleMania, maybe with DIY or something like that. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm going with Judgment Day to retain. Next up, guys, we have our Women's World Championship matchup between Rhea Ripley defending against Nia Jax. I do believe this is a homecoming for Rhea Ripley, right? So, you know, they typically like to, you know, dunk on people when it's their homecoming, but maybe that was just a Vince McMahon thing, but I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley to retain. I don't really expect Nia Jax to end the reign of Rhea Ripley here. Just doesn't make sense, especially with our chamber matchup that, you know, the winner of the chamber match is going to go on to take on Rhea Ripley. And there's a story building there that I just don't think that they would just throw out the window. Wouldn't make much sense, man. I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley to win and retain the championship. Again, doesn't really make sense to me for Nia Jax to take it. And you know, Nia Jax has certainly improved, but she, I've just never been a fan of her. Never been a real big fan of her work. If you follow the channel for any amount of time, you've probably learned that over the years. So yeah, man, I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley to retain. Dominic's going to be out there in full order, I imagine. Maybe he gets involved in some way. I'd love to see Nia Jax slam him or something. I think that would be entertaining. And also, wasn't there like a rumor mill that Dominic was supposed to take on Brock Lesnar at Elimination Chamber, eliminate him from the Rumble, and then they were supposed to have a matchup right here? Damn, man. Would have loved to seen that. But I got Rhea Ripley retaining. Next up, man, we have our Elimination Chamber match for the Women's World Championship match at WrestleMania 40. In this field, we have Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, and Raquel Rodriguez. Now, I I broke down my Raquel figure, so that's why she's not here. And then the Tiffany Stratton Basic is actually really tough to come by, actually, and it hasn't fully released yet. I, or maybe it has released, I just don't have it just yet in hand. Ordered a couple on Amazon, and then it, like, changed the image to Gunther. So if I end up with two Gunthers when I ordered Tiffany Stratton, I'm gonna be pissed off. Nonetheless, man, this boils down to two separate characters. Uh, I mean, it's either gonna be Liv Morgan, or it's gonna be Becky Lynch. And I would honestly love to see either or, and maybe we end up with a triple threat style scenario or something like that, which would be cool, but I think what my brain's telling me and all the, you know, everything that comes full circle for me personally, I'm going to be going with Liv Morgan, man. I'm going Liv Morgan. I just think that the story... 
feels better in my opinion. I think Becky would be fantastic too. Becky versus Rhea would be crazy. But Liv Morgan just makes the most sense in my brain, man. I just feel the Liv Morgan story just feels right to me. And I could even see her winning at Mania. I could actually see that taking place. I know Rhea's on a dominant run. And I love Rhea Ripley and all the different things, man. But Liv Morgan right now. I'm feeling Liv Morgan, man. I'm going to go with Liv Morgan to win. Hopefully we get some really entertaining stuff. I think this women's championship match is pretty damn stacked. I'd love to see some crazy things happen in this matchup. Maybe we get a damn moonsault off the pod by Tiffany Stratton. Just a lot of things that could take place in this matchup, man. But I think at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Liv Morgan. Winning here, securing her spot at WrestleMania. Maybe pointing at the sign or something after the matchup. Yeah, I got Liv Morgan in this matchup, but I just hope for an entertaining one. And you got a ton of athleticism and talent in here. Can't wait to see what everyone does that is involved with this match. And all right, man, what it's all about. The Elimination Chamber matchup for an opportunity at Seth Rollins World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania Extra Large, man. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, LA Knight, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul. Pretty damn stacked here. You know, while I'm not the biggest fan of Logan Paul, he is entertaining in the ring. Like, he can go. So, you know, that that's at least something. You know, I, I don't like celebrities in my wrestling. I don't like people that come in from outside sources. I like people that get into the wrestling business for the wrestling, and it's not just a cash grab or whatever, but I mean, I guess he does take it pretty seriously, so that's good, and he's entertaining, and it's fun to see him get beat up. I don't know, you know, different things. But nonetheless, man, I'm excited for this matchup. I expect Kevin Owens and Logan Paul to do some crazy shish. Hopefully we get a really cool Randy Orton RKO out of nowhere to Logan Paul. Maybe I'm I'm gonna go ahead and predict. I bet Logan Paul takes us, uh, like, one of the best RKOs of all time. I'm gonna say he does, he takes the one of, like, a top five RKO of all time from Randy Orton. Le Logan Paul's gonna go s for something crazy, some flips, some jump, something, and he will be caught out of nowhere by an RKO. And that's how he'll get eliminated. But, hey, Randy Orton versus Logan Paul, not a bad matchup on paper. We'll see how that all transpires. But but outside of that, I think this matchup can really only go one way in terms of the result. And I think that is going to be Drew McIntyre, man. Drew McIntyre has been on a legendary run right now. He has been on a legendary run right now. And honestly, with CM Punk out, I could see Drew McIntyre. This is kind of my prediction, I guess you could say. I could see Drew McIntyre with this amazing run that he's doing. This, you know, this trolling and this really awesome job that he's been doing here lately. I could see him winning this matchup. I think he's going to win this matchup. He's going to get his opportunity with Seth Rollins. He's going to beat Seth Rollins and then eventually when CM Punk gets back, we're going to have our CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre feud that's going to be legendary and that's what I am going to go ahead and predict, man. So I think Drew McIntyre is going to get the win here. I do expect a very solid showing here. Maybe LA Knight and Logan Paul to start a feud here. What I would personally do is just have Logan Paul defend the United States Championship at WrestleMania Mania in a massive ladder match. So you put Randy Orton in there, you put LA Knight in there, you put KO in there, you could put Bobby Lash in there could put maybe, you know, whoever the hell else you want to put in there, man. You put their ass in there, and you have a big ladder match for the United States Championship, man. I, me I miss these big ladder matches at WrestleMania. We haven't really seen one since, what, WrestleMania 32, really? I know you had a couple of sprinkled in there, I do believe. There was like a tag team one, I think, at Mania 36. I think, like, right, with the New Day, I think. Or maybe it was like Kofi and John Morrison or something like that. My mind escapes me. But you know what I mean, man? I want a really big ladder match, man. Get like eight guys in there and have them beat the hell out of each other. For the championship. It's a great way to open a show too. So, I don't know, man. That's what I would personally do, but I know it kind of got off on a tangent. But yeah, I'm predicting Drew McIntyre. I really don't see it panning out any other way. It'd be cool to see Randy win, I guess. But I'm a Randy guy. I'd love to see KO win because I'm a KO guy, right? But yeah, storyline-wise, it's Drew McIntyre. It's no other choice. Drew McIntyre's winning this thing. He's going on to fight Seth Rollins. He's going to win at Mania. And he's going to win that world championship in front of a crowd. His moment got kind of skipped over. So I, yeah, that's what I'm going with, man. But that is going to wrap up my Elimination Chamber 2024 predictions, man. Again, if they add a matchup or they do something like that, I will try to pin a comment and leave my thoughts down below. But of course, we will be reviewing the show early Saturday morning. And I'll be putting up my thoughts there as the show finishes. And and we will, of course, dive into all the different lore, man. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your predictions down in the comment section below for Elimination Chamber. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellows over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do for me on a monthly basis, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do. But that is going to wrap the video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>